Hey everyone, this is Rish and welcome back to my channel. So today we're trying out some new essences like this one for slow time and also one of the new essences for Electrocute as well. So these came in the new patch update. Let's see what we've got equipped and how we're going to use them. So the first new essence we're using is Manipulator's Mask. With this one, this turns slow time into a temporal ring. Any enemies struck by this ring will be incapacitated for a few seconds or until they take damage. And the cooldown is reduced by 7.2% on that as well. Then we're using Eberin's Visage, which is a new offhand. So electrocutes critical hits immobilize enemies for two seconds, cannot occur on the same target more than once every three seconds. And electrocute damage is increased by 9%. So that one's quite a nice one. On the alternate main hand, we're using Lost Seconds. Slow time cooldown is is reduced by 18.6%. And then I'm using an old essence on my offhand. And the reason for this is because it increases the attack speed and the damage as well. So Electrocute also increases your primary attack speed by 6% for 3.2 seconds. And Electrocute damage is also increased by 10% because it is in an awakened slot. So let me just show you what this looks like. I'm going to start by showing you the slow time essence. So we'll pull a mob together and see exactly how it works. So you can see this covers quite a wide area and it basically just freezes the target. Um, and then if you have a good essence equipped, like I've got this one for Meteor, you basically don't need to use the primary attack at all. So then moving on to Electrocute, let's look at this. So you can see when it immobilizes, it gives that blue circle underneath your target. Let's see if we can get that trigger again. You can see it a little bit there. Um, but that looks like quite a nice essence as well. So I'm going to continue just showing you what this looks like in Open World and then we'll move on and try it in a Rift as well. Now that we've seen this in open world, we're going to go ahead and try it out in Elder Rift as well. Now, with me, I like to run Elder Rifts really fast, so this is not necessarily the build that I would use. However, for Challenge Rifts, this could work really nicely because if you're facing a level with high monster difficulty, you could use this slow time essence to kind of stop your stop those mobs getting their hits in first. Obviously, you can basically immobilize quite a large area, and if you're also using it with the Electrocute essence, which is going to also immobilize, and incapacitate you kind of are going to have a bit more of an advantage in getting through those harder rift levels as well so let's continue trying this out seeing what it looks like we're also going to test it out in pvp vault and also in normal pvp battleground as well So I'm going to keep this Elder Rift clip short and sweet because I know everyone wants to know what this looks like in PvP rather than in PvE. So let's go ahead and look at this vault run the other day. So I'm going to keep this clip short as well, but I'm also going to show you it in slow motion and you'll see why in a second. So here I launch slow time. It doesn't look like it's had any effect whatsoever. And you can see I'm low on my life now as well. The Immortals are approaching and yeah, we did actually manage to beat them. But let's have a look at it in slow motion so you can see exactly how or if the slow time even worked at all. So let's watch this again but in slow motion and this is where you will see the problem occur. So we're going to launch slow time, we have this blood knight approaching us, um, you can see here where the immortals are approaching, you see we're taking hits. So I'm going to launch slow time now and it does incapacitate but you can see that my starfire shard has activated at the exact same time and basically cancelled out that immobilize. <laughs> effect um so we basically just continue to take hits it immobilized it incapacitated for not even two seconds when you actually just look at the clip where it immobilized it's literally a two second clip um but you can see that is why we continue taking hits so that is the first flaw with this essence it immobilizes but it doesn't really actually stop them completely because if they're taking hits from your team, if they're taking hits from um, legendary gems, you are stuffed because they will still be able to attack you. So let's try this out in Battleground and see how it went. 
So you might have noticed this build is slightly different to what I was using in PvE situations and that is because I have basically equipped my PvP build here. So the only things I've swapped out is I've swapped out Arcane Torrent for Slow Time and obviously I have swapped out my Magic Missile for Electrocute as well. So let's just see how this slow time and how the electrocute essences work in a pvp environment and hopefully we'll get a win i'm not going to continue my voiceover for this whole battleground match all i'm going to do is let you watch let you observe and then i'm going to give my thoughts and opinions at the end of this video so enjoy For this part you might want to just scroll forward for the next 40 seconds because it's just me walking along with the idol there's not much action on this side they haven't seemed to have noticed that we're on this side of the map so yeah feel free to skip the next 40 seconds until you see the slow time in action again So this match was a victory but I just want to show you the same essences in a slightly different build also in Battleground as well. So I did this on the same day. This is the same build that I was using in Open World. The only difference is that I have Gladiator equipped up for my Paragon instead of Weaver. Um, but I wanted to test this build out because I kind of think with slow time you need those attacks that you can have a close combat kind of style build. So that is what this build will give me. It obviously has the slow time. Let's just see how it works in this battleground as well. You will see the issues that you have with this slow time essence though, the more you watch it. And I try and launch it a little bit more in this video as well so that you can see more examples of it working or not working. But like I said, let's conclude at the end and I will give my thoughts and opinions.
Now, if you look here, I launched slow time, but it had no effect against knockback shots and I died because of it. So that was a little bit disappointing. Um, I kind of thought that it might actually work seeing as it's meant to mobilize, but obviously there are some attacks that it does nothing against. Um, let's continue watching and I will try and launch it as many times as possible just so that we can give it a fair trial and a fair go. Now I'm sure, like always, I will get some comments telling me that I was using this skill wrong the whole time. That's absolutely fine, but I'm just here to remind you, I'm not part of the partnership program. I'm just making these videos with my own thoughts and opinions and in my own time. For me, this slow time essence from Manipulator's Mask just does not work. It's a wasted skill slot because that incapacitation is broken too easily. If someone on your team hits the enemy, the incapacitation is broken. If a legendary gem triggers and hits them, the incapacitation is broken. So for me, I think it should have been that you at least incapacitate for two, three seconds so that you can actually get some hits in. But it doesn't do that. It doesn't kind of do what it says on the tin. I do like the incapacitation from Electrocute. However, that seems to work really nicely. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you're going to be trying this out. And as always, have a great day.